Welcome back everybody to the Bros of DK. I'm Leslie and today I'm gonna to take you on another adventure. I'm in my home country in Belgium and we are walking towards an abandoned house that's in the middle of the town here as you can see behind us. It's completely overgrown. I don't know actually what we can expect inside but we're gonna find it out together. So let's go there right now. Okay. Today's documentary will take us back to my home country, Belgium. A place where I grew up and that I hold very dear to my heart. So whenever I get the chance to explore an abandoned place over here, I immediately jump on it. Today we will take a look inside of the house that once belonged to the family Muller. A Belgian family who lived in this place all their lives. Mr. Muller, the father of the family, was the last one that was left behind in this place. And he lived here until the year 2012. And with old age also comes forgetfulness. And Mr. Muller forgot to turn down his stove on a certain day. And his whole house was engulfed in flames. Luckily, he survived the accident and was put into a resting home, but his house was declared unlivable. Mr. Muller would visit the place regularly, but the family refused to restore the house. Unfortunately, Mr. Muller passed away a few years ago, leaving behind his history inside of this abandoned place. Today we will explore Mr. Muller's house with the deepest respect and bring this story to YouTube forever. Let me sit down, because I want to tell you something. This week's video, I'm happy to announce, is sponsored again by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions of people come together and learn different skills in very intuitive ways like photography, videography, arts and crafts and all things you can imagine. I myself have been a part of Skillshare for a very long time and I've learned all my skills from videography to photography, all from Skillshare. For 2021, I set myself a goal. I want to learn at least half an hour on a different skill on Skillshare. Currently, I'm working on my photography skills. Lots of people know that I love making pictures, but I want to get better at it, I want to make better pictures, and I found this amazing class that teaches me how to do that. If you want to learn something else and make something beautiful of 2021, maybe advance in your field or something else, I highly recommend you to ch check out Skillshare. There's a link in the description to Skillshare and the first 1000 people to click it will get a premium subscription of Skillshare for free. With that all said, I want to give the word back to you, Leslie. Let's head on with the video and this is going to be an amazing exploration. Let's go. So we're standing here in front of now of the house of Mr. Muller. Beautiful, simple Belgian house, as you can see completely left behind since the year 2012. I'm very excited to go in this place and to see what's left behind. Um, let me just quickly show you the outside. And as you can see, it's just a very typical Belgian home, completely overgrown over the years. The front door is not even accessible anymore. So we are now standing at the back side of his house. We're gonna enter into it. The door is just open over here. 
let's see i'm pretty excited for this one because the story is just heartbreaking and i want to give him some respect for that last part of his life where he was not able to live in his house anymore and yeah we're entering in here into his house and i can immediately see where the fire started it was definitely here in the dining area as you can see on the walls they are just completely black and i'm going to show you today how this place got devastated after the fire and how mr muller had to leave it all behind it's going to be a pretty sad story but also i want to make it a bit happy so we're going to try let's go explore this place i didn't show you a second ago but this was the entrance of the house and this was also where his toilet was a little bag on the side there with a pretty simple toilet mr wuller was just a very simple belgian man as you can see all his last items of his life are stored here and yet again we are entering into the same dining area that i just showed showed you briefly but now we're going to look at it in depth this is just the place where the most emotions are stored as you can see the fire definitely started in this dining area and what i find strange is there's no wallpaper left in this place but all the furniture seems to be untouched in here uh, what i think is mr muller used to come after 2012 regularly to the house to just be in it because this was the place where he spent his entire life and he might have refurnished this whole section without restoring it to just be in here that's wonderful let's go through his artifacts and let's see what's left behind the first thing that i notice over here is this piece of furniture it's like a bench worked into a cabinet like a display cabinet and it's a very unique piece of furniture i've not seen it before in any home that i explored before so <laughs> i want to look at it closely okay these this um, well, this is something that you see regularly in uh, older belgian homes this rug on this blanket is, is very typical some tools up here wow in this cabinet crystallier glasses we are stored for when guests came over mr muller has not been in here for three years now his last bills are left here i'm not going to go into in depth on that as you can see Lots of different encyclopedias, I think these are. What's this book? It's written in French. But we are in the Belgian part of... I, didn't, I don't know if Mr. Muller was. Mr. Muller seems like a German name. But this book is completely written in French. Let's look at another one. Oh yeah, these are also French books. Choices. Marceau Choices. Wow. All these books are in French, so you can probably assume that this man was a Frenchman. English French dictionary. We can see over here. And some playing cards that he might have played together with his friends. Wow. Look at this car, this one, a Fico fridge. Whoa, there are some drinks still sort in here. Filco, the L was missing on the front. Filco. This looks like an American fridge from back in the day. It also seems like they have install, installed new power equipment junction boxes into the house after the fire had happened they probably didn't want to spend too much money on this place but they spent some of it to give mr muller his last few years of his life to be in this place 
this jacket it's still oh i'm oh i'm just knocking over this uh, footrest over here a pole street footrest wonderful jacket on the wall tree a wall tree in the dining area slash kitchen area actually because the last pots and pans are still left here we have the stove the last pots where mr muller used to cook with what you can also see in this place is that there are lots and lots of antiques left behind he was a big fan of antique a gas stove this iron this might have been a display item because this is very old you used to heat it up on the stove and when it was hot and toasty then you could take it off and use it to iron with but you could only iron for like a few seconds or 30 seconds and then the iron needed to be heated up again wonderful artifacts stored up here lots of display items but up here i can see a painting of an old friend and uh, no an old belgian farm i think the signature is not very clear but it looks like it's made like an amateur painting i should say maybe my mr muller himself the head dryer of his wife still left here she used to sit in this chair and she actually died before him I don't know at which date, but we're gonna see some wedding pictures in this place of them. Wow. Again, look at that burn on the wall. And also, we can see right, whoa, right through the ceiling, almost out of the house. Yeah, we can see out of the house through the attic. That's crazy. That's just crazy. That's gonna lead us back into the hallway into the dining area well first off i have to show you the basement first let's go in there let's go in and on an adventure basements are always very very interesting to me well, this is a very very low basement okay he stored some things in here not very interesting we have a hand pump over here which got later replaced by this electric pump to provide the house with water and another room that's completely empty and then we're going to enter into this very unique dining room and i can I when i smell when i smell this room <laughs> guys Urbex has this certain smell and in this place, in this room, I can smell the, the scent of, of Mr. Muller. I, I can definitely just smell it, him being in here. I'm not kidding. That's, that's, that's a very, very strange and unique smell that you only have in abandoned locations. That's also, yeah, whenever I smell this, I get happy because I've been exploring for such a long time. This, this is a very, very unique room. There's lots of antiques left in here, but the walls, they are just not, the walls and the ceiling are not done. They are, they are in construction phase, but there are beautiful antiques in here. That's what makes it very, very strange. An upholstery chair here to the side. A wonderful upholstery chair, actually. I would suppose it belongs in the French manor. It is just in this ordinary Belgian home over here. Look at this face. Wow. A face pillar. Now we have this cabinet over here. Is this a rock? Yes, it is. It used to be on the ground somewhere. Maybe before the fire it was on the ground. Some plates in here. Not that much stored in these cabinets anymore. Oh, 
I love this metal box actually. The Pics of French or Belgian cafe from back in the day. Some mesmerizing designs on there. Probably handmade. Oh, I just hit the camera. <laughs> Excuse me, camera. Oh. Wow, this is a letter. Wishing him the best greetings, like Christmas greetings from the year 2012, actually. Directed to Mr. Marcel from Marie. No, it's Marie. It's directed to Marie from Mr. Marcel. And he wishes them a beautiful 2013. Chinese hand waver over here. This looks like some sort of a travel bag. Ah, one of my favorite pieces of furniture to find in houses. People that watch me a lot know that I get excited by this piece of furniture. This is an accountancy table. This was used back in the day to calculate all the expenses of the household. And in bigger castles, these accountancy desks also used to be bigger and more advanced and have secret, secret compartments to store money inside of. This one seems to be like a very ordinary accountancy desk. A letter purse of some sort. A calendar, uh, an agenda from 1985. It's all left in here. Wow, wonderful piece of furniture again. A picture of a man, maybe Mr. Muller. This belt is still here. All the Christmas cards. Wow. But then this is again written in Dutch. So that that's that's very strange. So we have French letters, Dutch letters. We got we are of clo of course very close to the French side of Belgium over here. So that might be the case. Wow. Stamps. Then over here, we have some important men discussing some things. Looks like the Belgian government because there is a Belgian flag over here on this picture. And this man here in the corner, he is smoking a cigarette inside of the building. <laughs> that's just crazy. That's, that's not done today. That's literally not done. Let's see, look at him. Maybe Mr. Muller is also in this picture. We don't know yet. Wonderful upholstered sofa here to the side. And this mirror as well. Very unique piece of furniture. And then in the middle of the room, we have the dining table with again six of those beautiful upholstery chairs around it. Mesmerizing. I thought these were like silver or something like that. No, silver is very light, so it might be silver. These are some brushes for the lady. You can also see this picture of a young boy. It's very fake, but you can make out like a young boy in that picture. Oh, this place, I didn't know it, but holds so many artifacts that we can look at. And also a little, yeah, I don't know what this piece of furniture is, but I think you would put it in front of the bed to put on your shoes in the morning and your socks to make that easy. Give me like a reference in the comment section. Tell me if I'm right about this one, because I think this used to be in front of a bed. And I see I saw one more dustpan over here. 
We don't meet, make dustpans like that anymore. We all make them from plastic, but these are just wonderful. You have to agree with me on that front. You have to. Okay, it's time to take a look at the upstairs. The more private part of the house. The stairway is already cracking apart here to the side, as you can see. And it doesn't feel that stable anymore. That might be, of course, because of the fire that happened in this place. The structure of the house is not very solid anymore. We have two rooms up here. I've not looked at this area yet. I think I'm gonna go to this one first. Whoa, that hole in the floor is horrible. I need to be very careful. Oh, I just filmed it from downstairs in the, in the dining area. No way. You can see the dining area down there through this hole. Crazy. And up here, there's another hole leading to the roof. <laughs> this place is definitely not habitable anymore. But look how this room is left behind. A still made bed. Everything's still in here. It's just wonderful to see. Okay, I need to be very, very careful walking past here. I'm gonna hold on to the bed. I made it. I made it. <laughs> wow. These chests to the side are also wonderful. I wanna look if there's something in there. Mm, not really special, it's some blankets. Wonderful. Squeaking noise, but empty inside. Oh, one little dress we can see here, hanging from the closet. I'm not gonna open it, this makes too much noise. Lots of glass on the ground as well. Then we have this wonderful bed in the middle of the room, still made. Wow, after all those years. Maybe Mr. Muller made it regularly because, yeah, he just wanted to keep his house in pristine condition. And as you can see, this rope that's hanging here from the side of the bed used to be attached up there to the light switch. That's how they did it in old Belgian homes. Look at the wonderful design of the bed. One more thing I noticed about this bed, just I was looking at it and it has straw worked into its mattress. So this is a very old school type or very vintage type of bed. Look at this. You don't see this anymore. This is how they used to make beds back in the day. That makes this bed even more special than I already thought it was. I truly love this bed frame. It's very unique. A big chest. Again, filled with blankets. Treasure chests. Pirates of the Caribbean. This used to be a vanity, I think. Oh, and this might have been a picture of his wife. Over here. Wonderful vintage picture of them together. Wow. And there is a stove in the middle of this room. A coal stove. Because there is no there's no heater in this bedroom over here. There's definitely no heater to either side. No, I checked. So they used this coal stove to heat up the room. There's some amazing design on there. Look over here. We got the same man coming back as we saw down there in the dining area. So he might have something to do with the government in Belgium. That might have been his occupation. I just say might have been because I'm not sure about his occupation. I couldn't find out anything about that. Lots of pictures of them. You can see here, Mr. Muller with his beautiful mustache. Wow, his wife reading a book. 
that dog that I once used to have. Okay, and let me now try to go back without breaking my neck <laughs> in this place. Oh. Because there's one more room up here that we haven't looked at. And this used to be another bedroom, I suppose, but the bed frame is completely dismantled. There are some things left in here. A vanity. This is not a vanity, it's just a cabinet down here. Wow. Look at this. I love to go through these places and find out all these old artifacts and figure out how they were used back in the day. For example, this brooming set over here. It's a cosmetic set with all the brushes and a leather pouch. Files and everything are still in here. Wow. Another type of stove down here. They even stored some pots up here. <laughs> some tin pots. Wonderful. Look at the decay on this cabinet. Oh no, this is a vanity. This is definitely a vanity. Look at the decay on this vanity, I should say. That's just crazy. I'm intrigued by this lock. This was the powder the face, I suppose. Beautiful artifacts in here. What also triggers me is that this room is still that there's still wallpaper on the walls. That's the only room in the house uh, with the other bed bedroom as well, where we see wallpaper on, on the walls. I just noticed this, but these are all the medical items that Mr. Muller needed. There are lots of syringes here, his fake teeth, which I'm not gonna touch. Over here, these are like boxes, still filled with needles. Oh. So his medical condition was probably not optimal. Crazy. <laughs> the cabinet behind me is like tre <laughs> like vibrating violently. Wow. There's one more place up there. And that's the attic. Let's take a look up there right now. Oh, this place seems very unstable. <laughs> I don't know if I should do this. Look over there. Completely broken floor. <laughs> that's very, very risky to do. And that's the hole where I could look out of from the dining area downstairs. Uh, from, the, from the kitchen area. Wow. Look at this design pot. What was in here? Continentale, Rotterdam, this is made in Rotterdam, Antwerp it says on here. Cafe, oh this is a coffee, they used to store coffee beans in here. Wow. Now you get plastic bags for your coffee beans, but back then you would get them in such beautiful, beautiful uh, <laughs> packaging. What's this? Don't know picture and then to this side now yeah, we have some artifacts but I'm not gonna look into them So this was definitely a little bit of a short video. Mr. Muller didn't have a bigger house than that. 
but I love to go through here. It was a very strange place. I should watch out where I'm walking while I'm talking, but uh, I just loved going through here. All the artifacts that are left in here were just wonderful to see and uh, I'm just a little bit heartbroken that he had to leave behind this house, his beloved house, because it was completely destroyed by the fire. And uh, I hope he had a happy and loving life in the resting home. And Mr. Muller, I wish you good up there and thank you that we could explore your house. Guys, thank you very much for watching this week's video and as always, I will see you next week another epic adventure. Bye-bye. I love you very much.